The VISC 6 is an awesome speed controller and has tons of features, including an add-on Bluetooth module to display relevant data on your phone. However, I personally don't like mounting my phone on my handlebar due to vibration and potential crash damage. So I've made a simple yet useful LCD screen that displays all the relevant data whilst riding my bike. If you have a VISC 6 and want to build a similar screen to this, then you'll need the following. An Arduino Nano, a 16x2 LCD screen that uses I2C communication, a 470 microfarad capacitor, a ferrite ring and a few 3D printed parts. The Arduino needs to be connected between the LCD screen and the VESC using this wiring diagram. If you have any issues with the Arduino chip displaying random values whilst riding, then I recommend that you build a low pass filter using the capacitor and ferrite ring. This is just a filter the 5 volt power coming from the VESC. I used 4 core wire between the LCD and Arduino as it keeps it nice and neat and hidden between the brake and gear change lines and mounted the LCD to the handlebar using these 3D printed parts and a couple cable ties. The next step is to program the code onto the Arduino which you can download in the description down below. The original code for reading the VEST values was posted to GitHub by Emil Jacobson and I've just modified it to display the values on a screen. This code will need some editing to match your setup, so let's take a look. Scroll all the way down to the read value section. The first value to check is the number of pole pairs in your motor. Most motors have 14 poles, so that's seven pole pairs. However, my latest e-bike has 42 poles, so that would be 21 pole pairs. This is very important to measuring the range and speed of your bike. The second value to change is the number of poles multiplied by three. For example, a 14 pole motor multiplied by three is 42. Now this is where it gets a bit more complicated. If you want your distance to be measured in miles, then keep this 1,609 value, which is the number of meters in a mile. But if you want your distance in kilometers, then change it to 1,000. The 0.72 value is a diameter of my bike wheel, as it's a 29 inch wheel. But make sure to measure your specific wheel, as the diameter can vary slightly depending on the tire. And the final part is the pulley, chain or gear ratio, where my motor pulley has 16 teeth and the wheel pulley has 185 teeth. The values used in this row can also be entered into the following row, but make sure not to remove this 60. The final calculation is the battery percentage. This value is where I like to reference an empty battery, or 0%. And this is the number of cells in my battery. So that would mean a fully charged 12 cell battery of 50.4 volts, which is 4.2 volts per cell, would display 100%. And a discharge battery of 38.4 volts, which is 3.2 volts per cell, would display 0%. It's not really 0% as the battery can still be discharged a bit lower, I just prefer not to discharge my batteries any lower than that. So scale it to fit your setup. If you do choose to use kilometers instead of miles, scroll down a bit further and change the mile icons to kilometer icons. And finally, if you want to change the startup display to a custom message, scroll back up here and enter some custom text, though it can't be more than 10 characters long. Then make sure you've chosen the correct Arduino board and COM port and it's time to upload. Once uploaded, you need to connect your VESC to your computer and go to the general tab under the app settings and change the app to whichever one you're currently using and UART. For example, my electric bike throttle uses ADC control, but you may be using PPM or something else. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you could leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.